Hi guys, welcome back. I've got another tag. <laughs> I am so excited, you guys. I love doing these tags. Why? I don't know. I, they're just fun. But anyway, I'm so excited. This is called the Back to School Tag, hosted by, let's see if I can not use these, hosted by Miss Cheryl's Place and Everyday Living with Karen Geeter. And I hope I pronounced your name right, Karen. Anyway, we have some questions to answer pertaining back to school, and then we have to tag three people at the end. So I'm going to get started. Let me just find the questions again. Oh yeah, also this is an open invite collaboration for anyone to participate, so that's what I'm doing today. So let's get started with the question. Okay, question number one. If you're a working parent or guardian, do you have a sick plan in place if your child becomes ill? Uh, I'm a parent, and yes, I do. The sick plan is at school, and we also have it here at home. So. Everyone knows what to do. The nurse knows what to do. If this and that happens, uh, you know, we know what to do. If we get a call. So it's pretty much, uh, it's an action plan. So everything uh, is written down on paper. Number two, do you establish a nighttime routine such as early bedtime and preparing lunches the night before not anymore uh, my son is in high school and he's a junior now so there's no need to do all of that this particular question I know is pertaining you know younger kids but no he gets his lunch at school if he wants to eat and you know how teenagers are sometimes they don't they don't eat so uh, let me see if I answer that all the way so no I don't prepare any lunch and he, well, pretty much we have established a nighttime uh, bedtime. Yeah, definitely, because you know, you don't want your teenagers staying up all night. So yeah, we do have a bedtime time schedule already. All right, number three, how do you keep up with all of the school forms that come home the first week of school? And do you have a filing system in place? Well, with him being in high school, again, they don't even give papers. They don't send papers home anymore, not these days. It's either by email or you get a text on your phone, pretty much, or a phone call. That's how the high schools are doing these days. At least out here in California. I don't know how, I don't know how they're doing it you know, in other states, but that's how they do it here. So, and do I have a filing system in place? No, I used to, wait a minute, a little bit I do. If there are important, um, let's say for instance like an action plan from the nurse, that type of a document or medication that I will have in a filing system. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay, next question. Number four, do you have boys or girls or both in school? Actually, I do have both. Aaron, my son, he's in high school, like I said before. And my daughter, Angela, she is in college. She already has her, um, is it her master's degree? I think it's her master's, master's degree already, so. Number five, are you a parent of students or a grandparent and you're helping take care of students? I'm just a parent, no grandparent as of yet. Um, I'm just taking care of my son until he, you know, gets up out of here and on his own, so. Okay, number six. What are the ages of your students and grade? Well, my daughter, she is 32 and she's in college still. And Aaron, as you know, he's a junior in high school and he's 16. Number seven, is your student homeschooled 
or in a charter or military school. Neither one. Actually, about three years ago, we did homeschool him temporarily. Uh, he was being bullied and I decided now I want to take him out of the school so that he can feel safe. So we homeschooled him and well, that was uh, an online uh, type of a program and we didn't like it. We couldn't stand it. So now he's back in, you know, regular schools. Number eight, does your student attend a school that requires a uniform or regular clothes? You know what? I wish that he had a uniform I and mean, he doesn't want that. He told me, he says, well, I'm glad I don't. But I do. I wish that he had a uniform so they just wear regular clothes. So that would be a lot easier if they did. At least on me it would. <laughs> Washing wise it would. But anyway, you know, he can, he's old enough to wash his own clothes and sometimes he does. So number nine, how do you spend your mornings or afternoons with your child or grandchild? Well, with Aaron being a teenager, he's, you know, he's on his own. He likes to um, pretty much get on the computer or talk on the phone with his friends or something like that. So um, when we do spend time together, it's like during dinner or if we want to have a family discussion about something, you know, we're all gather up and my husband will lead it or sometimes I will lead a family meeting. So that's pretty much that. Um, so I would have to say that's more of the afternoons how we spend it. Uh, in the mornings, um, pretty much just him getting himself ready and then I'm like, okay, are you ready to go? Let's go. So that's pretty much what we do. We take him to school. So these are some nice questions, ladies. Number 10, does your child have any extra activities after school? Example, sports, cheerleading, Girl Scouts. Uh, yes, he loves the marching band. He's a musician and he loves playing different instruments and it's just one, of the, that, that's his passion, music. So. Number 11, how do you prepare your home for back to school? Example, organization, meal prep, and bedtime. How do you prepare your home for back to school? I don't prepare any particular way, actually. We take him clothes shopping. Uh, that's pretty much it. And, you know, if it's something that needs to be ironed, you know, because he's a big boy, you know. He's not one of the small little kids where you have to practically do everything for. He's pretty much independent, so there's really not too much prep preparation to do. Oh, one thing that I do, I forgot. One thing that I like to do, and I, I normally do it on my own, in my own prayer time. I like to say a prayer for the whole school year that he'll do well and you know he'll have favor with everyone at school and safety you know i pray for his safety and as well as the whole entire school so i gotta keep my finger on here as i keep forgetting where i left off okay number 12 how do you spend your morning wait a minute did i read that one how do you prepare your home for back to school example I hope I didn't skip any. 12, how do you spend your mornings or afternoon with your grandchild? I just answered that one, so. Number 13, when do you help with homework, before or after dinner? Well, he does not have any homework. They're not giving uh, the students homework, at least in his school, so uh, there's no need to be helping. And if he did have something to bring home to complete, you know, they do it online. Everything is online, so um, he's pretty intelligent, so he doesn't really need mom or dad's help anyway. So thank God for that, huh? <laughs> All right, We're almost done. Okay, number 13. 
When do you help with homework before or after dinner? Neither, because my son does not have any homework anymore. He's in high school, uh, this particular high school. Um, and I'm thinking all the high schools, really, because I don't really know. They're not really giving the kids um, homework these days. Maybe in some other states they do. But if he does have to do anything, um, you know, do an assignment that he did not finish or something like that, um, he would do it online anyway. And uh, let me see. He doesn't really need any help because he's pretty much uh, intelligent and he doesn't really need much help. So I don't. Okay. Number 14. Do you have a routine chart for your children? Example, chores and after school work. When he was younger, yes, we did. Um, I would have things written down that he is to do and then he can earn points at the end of the week and get a treat. So those are the things I used to do when he was smaller. Now that he's a teen, nah, that's not gonna work. But he does have to keep his room clean and you know, take out the trash, do things that we ask him to do, you know, that we expect him to do. But that's pretty much, you know, all that we would do. There's no routine chart like it used to be. Okay, number 15. Does your student pack a lunch or do they buy lunch at school? Uh, I don't pack any more lunches anymore. I only did that when he was younger. Um, he buys lunch. So, you know, or he won't even eat lunch. If he's not hungry, he won't even eat anything. So, but he basically buys it. Okay. Last and final question. What type of after school snack, if any, do you prepare for your child? Um, sometimes I'll give him chips, sometimes I give him fruit, a granola bar, uh, and I only prepare that if we have an appointment, like when we pick him up and we're gonna, we're not coming back to the house, um, then I'll prepare something or just grab something really quick and take to go, or if we're coming straight home after school, um, he'll get his own snack, pretty much, so. Because sometimes, you know, you don't like what mom gets. It's like, is that all? Or can I have something different? So I just tell them, go ahead and you get your own snack then. You know, you're old enough to get it. You're a big boy now. So, okay, that's the end of this tag. This was so much fun. I enjoyed those questions, Cheryl and Karen. I really did. This was a lot of fun because I love doing tags. I really, really do. Okay, now I get to tag three people. Name. I had to really think hard. I had to go in my new in my feed to figure out. Well, who has children? First one is Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner. You're tagged, Kenya. Also, uh, the Boss Lady seventy six CS. You're tagged. And last but not least, Heidi Sonville. You're tagged. Okay, tag your it, ladies. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click on your notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos whenever I upload them. And thank you all for watching. Thank you, Cheryl, and thank you, Karen, for hosting this. When I saw the title, ladies, I was like, ooh, good, a tag, another one, you know? Because I just did one recently. So I'm just so happy to be able to participate. I'll talk to you later. Bye.